You know, I look around my kitchen from time to time and I think, oh, what am I going to make? And then I think, well, I don't know how to make anything. So I'm going to watch another episode of City Line and I'm going to listen to Claire Tanzi, who's going to take us back to basics in the kitchen. Give her a big hand. Oh, you ever do that? Do you ever just look around the kitchen and you're like, I do, I do. We were talking about this upstairs. Do you have any ingredients? That's step one. Right. Is there what any? Can is I there make? any butter? Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. Well, I like the fact that we're going to start with um, sweet. Yeah. Back to basics. Yeah. So nothing beats a chocolate chip cookie. Yes. And uh, the word on the street is that everybody needs one great chocolate chip cookie recipe. I think it's yes. I think that's the right thing to have. This is it. This is it. Yes, so this, this, is the this one. produces the most perfectly just crispy, soft and chewy, okay. full of chocolate. That's oh, the I one. Oh, I pressed it and yeah. it is just a little bit just soft. Just a little bit soft. And the secret to that is we only use brown sugar instead of using a mixture of brown sugar and white sugar. Oh, so it's the brown sugar that makes it soft? It's the brown sugar that makes it soft. I just thought you had to take it out before it was fully done being Well, that baked, too. If you overcook thing. it and burn it, then, then it's, it's crispy. Gonna be, generally, <laughs> it's going to be a little bit crispy. <laughs> um, and you can do these. I love this recipe. This is, okay, so this is the Chatelaine Ultimate Chocolate Chip Cookie. Okay. Whatever event we're having, whatever party, birthday, uh, the welcome home, get well soon this, this is, what is you the make. one right so um, this is our favorite and you can do this with a wooden spoon or of course you can get your uh, happy mixer mixer out and I already hurt myself with butter earlier today so I'll just be very very careful these are the casualties of being in the kitchen I know you get covered with butter a huge big lump of butter went flying across the set and it, it nearly injured somebody oh no so you know be warned watch your eyes I know be warned right. um, okay so I'm gonna get you in fact to just keep stirring this with a wooden spoon sure. and then I'll kind of talk you through these are this is the reason why we're doing basics is because Everybody needs these recipes. Yeah. And just because they're basic doesn't mean they're boring. No. Heavens. If you want to not. add raisins or nuts or sprinkle in some cinnamon yeah. or some cayenne, you know, you could just go this crazy is with that. going to drive our audio department nuts. Look at you. You're, you're thinking on the job. Clinking, clinking, clinking. One single egg. So you probably have one egg left yes. in the fridge. Yeah. Just one. Just one. You were going to have it for dinner. Your sad, lonely dinner of a fried <laughs> egg on a plate, but instead you're going to make cookies. Because this is more important, I think, than having this a sad a, egg for dinner. This is not a sad dinner at all. No, Look at this that is a dinner. good dinner. <laughs> Turn on the TV and you are done. Okay, now this is just plain white flour. I'm going to put in a little bit of salt and soda. Okay. Uh, oh, I'm going to give you some vanilla to start mixing in Go there, for too. It. I always love the vanilla. Vanilla and chocolate is a, a magical combination. And are you one of those people that you have to have the real vanilla bean? You can use just the regular vanilla extract. Yes. Get but store, when you right? go to buy the vanilla extract, you'll yeah. see that there's one that's cheaper, and it's called artificial vanilla extract. <laughs> right. And then you'll find another one that's a little more expensive, and it's okay. called real vanilla extract. Get that. It's better. Yeah. I mean, the, there's not, not that the artificial is bad or bad for you or anything like that. It's just it doesn't, doesn't taste, taste as, good. as good. Right. Now look at you making cookies. Not bad, right? Okay, so now, now all it's gonna one, get hard. one fell swoop. It's okay. not actually going to get hard. Okay. And then let me just talk you through chocolate while you do the heavy lifting yeah, for me. Yeah, let's talk about that. Let's talk about chocolate. She got there in that bowl. Well, what I've got here is chocolate chunks. Okay. Now, these are um, made by an amazing company called Calibo, so it's a really, really high quality chocolate. Could you put one in my mouth? I could. Yeah. Like this? Yeah. Oh, we had a moment. Yeah, Ooh, thank you. Spicy. It's good. It is good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you chew, I'll talk. Mm -hmm. The thing that's going to take your chocolate chip cookies from very good to spectacular stratospheric is the quality of the chocolate. Right. So get the best quality chocolate you can. Nothing wrong with chocolate chips, but if you want to go out and actually buy a real chocolate bar, like one of those 80%, and chop it up yourself, yeah. do that, or go to a specialty store, get some good chocolate, and that is where your chocolate chip cookie is really going to be made or oh, broken. That is so good. And then it's lots of chocolate chips, by the yeah. way. Look at all the chocolate going on in here. Because you want to make sure every cookie has it's a, a good Think share of, how of this sad stuff. That yeah. cookie would be that didn't have chocolate chips <laughs> totally. in it. Totally. Now, if you're like me, and this is when things get very dicey for you in terms of eating the dough, yep. this is when you pop in a cough drop, a piece of gum, <laughs> whatever it takes to get those cookies onto the pan and into the oven. Yeah, things are about to get real dicey here. And when that dough comes together, and it will, once you give it a, just a little bit more oomph. As soon as we go to commercial, it'll come together. Exactly. So I, I like to use an ice cream scoop. You can use a small uh, tablespoon but this is the best way to get consistent 
Get back in there. I was going to eat that. Yeah, get back in there. Uh, consistent cookies. That's a smart way to do it. I it just is. usually a use, a little, use a spoon, but that's better. It's just a little bit easier, and that way they're all exactly the same size. Yeah. 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 How, how long do you put that in for? Do you remember? Uh, I'm going to say somewhere between one like minute and 50 minutes. Okay. No. All right. <laughs> Probably about, uh, I'm going to guess 10, 10 to 12. 12 minutes. 10 to 12 minutes. Depends on your oven, yeah. as always. And I'm more of a 10 minute girl. I want to yes, take it out brass, that a little so bit it's softer. Like nice and soft. Exactly. Mm. And I always say, they will last a week, yeah. but they won't last a week. No, they're not going to last a week. Exactly. But they'll last one to 50 minutes. Exactly. <laughs> right. Now, we're also going to make some muffins. Yeah, let's because make muffins. Because even, you know, some, uh, some events call for a cookie, some events call for a muffin. Absolutely. And who doesn't love a blueberry muffin? Oh, it's blueberry. Yeah. Blueberry. But how did you, what's all the chunky stuff well, on the, the top? Well, the chunky stuff on top is a little thing we call streusel. And oh. it's just a little gilding of the lily. You don't have to do it, but it okay. sure makes them pretty if you're doing a bake sale. All right. A little bit of flour, a little bit of sugar, a little bit of butter. And I'm going to ask you to just sort of start mashing that butter into the sure. sugar. And then this is where, again, this is where things go from great to spectacular. Ooh. Lemon and blueberries. It's like, uh, it's, a mar it's a perfect marriage. It's a lovely it's, combo, isn't it? Is it is a perfect, perfect combination. Mm -hmm. So the zest goes into the streusel, and then you just quickly make the muffins, and then the streusel will go on top before you bake them. Oh, I see. Okay. We did this slightly healthy, just Good. slightly. Yeah, whole what'd you wheat, do? Half whole wheat, half regular flour. Yeah. A little bit of sugar. Uh, so baking soda and salt. Okay. And that gets whisked together. Now the key with muffins, you want to mix your wet ingredients separately from your dry. Oh, so things get a little tricky is what you're saying. Well, it's a two bowl system. If you okay. can handle that, you can handle anything. Okay. 2% uh, yogurt. Don't like non-fat in this. You need a little bit of oomph in that yogurt. So that's 2% plain yogurt. Okay. And then once things get to this stage, this is the number one key. If you remember nothing else from this segment besides eat good chocolate, <laughs> a few swift strokes. Do not over mix. Mm, so do not get the electric mixer out. Do not. Do the folding. Folding, and then Fold. I'm gonna actually add my lovely blueberries. You can use frozen, of course. Mm -hmm. Just I need a little bit of extra flour. Read the recipe. And so I'm not gonna overmix. I'm gonna be gentle. This is gonna be a very, very thick batter. But if you overmix it, they go flat. Yeah, and you don't want that. That's and it. also the blueberries are so, um, they're very precious. They are precious. Right? You don't want to mash them. No, you don't want to totally yeah. mash them. Or they're no, just going to be We want to give them respect mushy. and honor. Exactly. And then you've got blueberry streusel lemon muffins. They're so beautiful. Yeah. So we uh, put all of the instructions for this on our website, cityline.ca. So we've got everything from uh, how to make the perfect pizza dough to how to cook a classic tomato sauce. We rounded up all of our basic recipes. And the section is called Back to Basics. Nice. It's cityline.ca slash back to basics. So go there. Thank you very much. Always a pleasure.